or camping is really just an idea. But it's an idea we came here to test. It's 2021. It's July 2021. Probably more people camping this year than at any time in the history of the state. And where will we all go? Well, that's where network camping as an idea may come in. Maybe it's an Irish thing to some degree. So many of us have left this island. There are those of us born to a travel addiction, the endless draw of a far horizon, foreign shores or new places. But not so much in 2021. every breaking wave of this pandemic, we are driven back upon our own shore. Maybe it's not a bad thing, maybe it doesn't matter how far you go, but instead, how close you look. So now, we look at home. leave no trace, if you can make it your mark that you leave no mark, then you are no burden. In this case, it is no burden to ask among your friends if they may have a place where you can camp. And so I did. Network camping is about working through your own network of friends to find your own hidden gems, rather than following others to theirs, where gathering crowds draw more crowds until the respect of the original few is obliterated by the disrespect of the small-minded litter parties that ultimately bring the no camping signs up. In the internet age, I guess this is more of a concern than it was before. I realize network camping is of little use to those who just arrive in any place, but everyone is from somewhere and it applies wherever it is that we are from. Anyway, this is Ireland and people make friends quickly. A key part of network camping is that the landowner can offer a place to you without fear that hundreds more will ask to follow because the others should ask among their own people rather than following you. One thing is for certain, more fields or clearings along our shores and wild places are empty than the few sites that are full this summer, even in 2021. In a time when wilderness is harder and harder for us all to find, a quiet place in nature is a very close second. And perhaps now it is more important than ever. So far the answer I have got is most often yes, but not always. The no always has a good reason though. This particular piece of land is another man's livelihood long before it can be my playground. This is winter grazing for his cattle. It is his income.
This land may at other times need to have machines work upon it. Sometimes there are cattle on it. Sometimes risk of fire is high. Insurance or litigation, of course, is in there too. And there are, of course, many reasons why you or I may ask and may be denied. But on this occasion, my network camping test worked. The owner knows my family and my presence here is built on trust earned by them and now by me because I have left no trace beyond my tracks which lie in line with the owners. As always, if this place appeals to you, the question is not, where is this, or who owns this? The question is, who do you know? Who can you ask? Or where can you go? Or where will your next camp be?